Good afternoon, everyone, or shall I say, uh, Mayad nga apod, and welcome to today's webinar entitled Franchise Your Business. So, my name is Sokri Malako, and I am the Marketing Officer of Filipino International Franchise Association, and I will be serving as your host today. To formally start this program, may I call on the CEO of RK Franchise Consultancy and President of FIFA, Mr. Rudolf Kotick, for his opening remarks. Uh, please give him a round of applause. Uh, thank you, Sokri. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third Palawan Franchise Expo virtual edition and uh, to the seminar and uh, company presentation. So beside of, uh, beside of uh, presentation about how to franchise your business by She Lumbes, our marketing director, we will also have presentations of excellent franchise opportunities, which includes the Phoenix LBG brand, which includes Chatu Chuck, which includes Mr. Donuts and uh, Mr. Chef, and probably some others. All right. So, without any further uh, delay, we want to start uh, the day. And uh, let's get in our first presenter. And I give you back to Sokri to introduce our first presenter of the day. And uh, I hope you find something uh, to franchise or Hope you learned if you want to franchise your business and uh, you know already afterwards what you have to do. All right, let's go. The show started. So, Kri, take it away. Okay, thank you so much, sir, for your opening remarks. And thank you for your taking time out of your busy schedule. So, in behalf of Filipino International Franchise Association, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. We appreciate you taking time of your busy schedules to join us today. So we hope you uh, you will find this program. We line up for you to be fruitful and engaging. So you'll be hearing a presentation from RK Franchise Consultancy and six franchise opportunities from different companies on this very timely subject. But before we get started, I would take a few minutes of your time. Okay, so as part of the Palawan Franchise Expo, um, we would like to invite you to please visit our Franchise Expo online platforms, www.franchise.com, to, uh, to know more about the exciting offers by our other exhibitors. So now, uh, moving along to our seminar, let us all welcome our guest speaker for today, the Marketing Manager of uh, RK Franchise Consultancy, Michelle Lombes. Let's uh, all give her a round and virtual applause. All right. Thank you so much, Sok, for a very kind introduction. All right. So good afternoon to everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you for attending the Palawan Franchise Virtual Seminar this afternoon. I know that most of you are interested in our topic today, which is why I'll be sharing some insights about franchising, okay? So most especially on how you can franchise your business. So before I begin with uh, my presentation, let me introduce first myself, okay? I am Shay Montes Lumbes, and I'd like to share with you our company, RK Franchise Consultancy, who are we? and what's our role in franchising industry. All right, next slide, please. Okay, so well, RK Franchise Consultancy is a 22 years old company that provides a professional franchise development for entrepreneurs who would like to expand or grow their brands through a well-developed franchise system. Of course, headed uh, by our CEO, Mr. Rudolf Kotick, our team provides not just the professional franchise development, but also an ongoing support to our franchise or to our franchisors, I mean, to help them establish a system standard that can be duplicated with their future partners. So, if you are watching right now and would like, and I mean, if if you have a business and would like to share your success with others, franchising is the best way for you. And of course, our team is always ready to help you. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so pretty sure that this slide is not too big for you to see all the clients or companies that we have developed. But yeah, those are the brands 
okay, that we have developed so far. And of course, uh, we are currently developing more accounts from Luzon to Mindanao. Uh, all in all, we have around 800 brands or 800 developed companies. And of course, we are looking forward to developing more accounts on the coming year. So who knows, diba? Who knows, diba? You might be the next franchisor. Okay, next slide, please. All right, so uh, let's begin to talk about franchising. We have actually, uh, we, we actually have a very short definition here, okay, that is actually easy for you to understand. So basically, franchising is a special type of licensing arrangement for the distribution of products and services. So when we say special type of licensing arrangement, this is where the relationship of franchisor and franchising com franchisee comes in. No? So in franchising, you are definitely in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Okay, so we have what we call a long-term partnership or relationship. So when we engage into a franchise and when we, th when we think of franchising, we also think of the two operating personalities involved. So yeah, uh, as you can see in our screen, we have here the franchisor. And of course, the franchisee. Next slide, please. Okay, so by being a franchisor, you will allow another entity, which is your franchisee, to use your business system. Okay, your business system, trademark, and corporate identity for a certain period of time. There's always a strong agreement po, no, between the franchisor and the franchisee that you should know in case you want to venture on this type of business system. So when we talk about being a franchisor, you are actually sharing your entire business, okay? You're also sharing the use of trademark, which is why it's really important for every franchisor to have their brand name registered in IPO. Okay, in our association, we have our in-house trademark specialist, which is uh, Mr. Sokri Malako, that can help you file for your IPO. In case you're interested on the service, please don't hesitate to contact us. And ayun, to, to have a smooth and successful operation, a franchisor must implement a system standard where every franchisee can adapt to it. So later on my next few slides, I'll be sharing additional pointers of what a franchise provide in general and how it will be beneficial on the side of the franchisor. All right, next slide, please. Okay, so the franchisee, on the other hand, purchases someone else's experience, uh, the franchise or expertise, of course, and method of doing the business and does not have to go through the pain of a startup company. So the franchisee is the one responsible in running the entire franchise business. And of course, uh, if you're planning to run your own franchise business, it comes with a price, po, no? so you have to be financially ready. You, you should know all the expenses when you decide to buy a franchise. As you can see in your screen or in our, in our screen, there are actually different expenses involved. Okay, so such as franchise fee, a capital requirement, which is a total amount of money that you need to have in order to operate one franchise business. And uh, by engaging into a franchise means you also have to pay for the monthly fees. Okay, so pag tinanong natin what are the monthly fees involved, whether it's a royalty fee or continuation fee, uh, and you're actually required. Okay, you're actually required to purchase the products through an established procurement program given by your franchisor. Okay, promotion, as you can see, meron tayong advertisement fee slash uh, local store marketing. So promotion is also a big part to achieve your target sales. Po, no? So as a franchisee, you have to run your own LSM. So when we talk about LSM, it is a local store marketing. And of course, when you, um, I mean, you need to contribute on the advertisement fund, okay, for the continuous promotion of the entire brand. So this is where uh, the use of royalty fee or continuation fee na binabayaran natin monthly. Okay, and of course, one of the common question as well that we are receiving is, are you going to provide staffs who will be working under my unit the answer is no, okay? It is also the responsibility of the franchisee to hire his own people, okay? Effective initial trainings will be provided by your franchisor. So next slide, please. All right, so um, this slide is just a short list, okay, on what you need to know before you decide to buy a franchise. Like what I've mentioned earlier, Pono, you need money to run the entire business. And it's important as well to know your interest 
before jumping into a kind of business that you will be operating for years. Kasi diba, when we engage into a franchise, we're giving an initial terms of three years, four years, five years. So you have to think very well kung ano po yung interest natin sa, sa business. And of course, examining the opportunities is a must. And that means you have to, next slide please, you have to uh, visit. Okay, ito, meron tayo mga how to select a franchise. First of all, you have to visit your franchisor or talk to them. Now that it's pandemic, uh, you might also want to consider having a virtual a virtual one-on-one -on -one meeting instead of meeting them personally. Okay, you also have to study the financial part of the business. Uh, normally, a, fran a professional franchisor will discuss with you their uh, financial part, both the investment, okay, as well as the return of investment, or ito yung tinatawag nating payback period. Of course, training and support should always be part of the offer. Uh, offer. Perhaps you, you can also uh, interview the existing franchisees about their trainings uh, and support. And don't forget to always check. Okay, always check the IPO registration of the business. Okay, and uh, there's so many, there are actually so many things to consider when, when buying a franchise. And if you're quite unsure of the information you're getting, I suggest you, you ask for a help from, a, let's say, from a franchise association. All right, so next slide, please. Okay, so some of you might want to become a franchisor. Uh, or some might want to adapt someone's concept or someone else's baby, which is why it's really important for us to establish a successful franchise mindset. Okay, I have here a few guides on how uh, both the franchisor and the franchisee can maintain a successful partnership. Okay, so it's, it's actually true that, uh, that experience is not a requirement for you to become a franchisee, but of course, you have to take this down note. Okay, you have, of course, there are specific qualifications uh, that every franchisor will have to consider, okay, in looking for their future partners. So to be a good franchisee it means you have to be a serious rule follower. All right, so every franchisee should follow 100% the rules and regulations written on the franchise agreement because our rules begin as early as day one. Okay, after the franchise signed, uh, I mean, after the franchisee signed the contract, read the operations manual, and completed the trainings, it is actually mandatory that you follow the system standards attached to your uh, agreement. Okay, it is also important to think that a franchisee should have the ability, okay, uh, should have the ability to thrive in a concept that was someone else's baby. So remember, uh, for the side of the franchise or that you are giving practically 90% of your system and knowledge in running a successful business. So it's always important to assess your franchisees. Mm -hmm. po, no? So if a franchisee thinks that, let's say, for example, he would like to perform his own uh, product preparation without following the given standard by the, of the franchisor, uh, this franchise is obviously violating the rules and regulations. Okay, you have to take note that every decision made by the franchisor will ultimately affect every franchisee. Okay, so as a franchisee, you have to be okay or just uh, what we call it, totally embrace, okay, the fact that you have a boss. Okay, and accepting the business itself is ultimately their concept. And we normally tell this to our seminars, po, no? that if you have an egocentric personality, uh, you're not most likely to succeed. So we are suggesting that uh, you don't buy a franchise. All right, so also, uh, the more that you seek help or guidance from your franchisor, the more that you'll become a successful franchisee. Okay, this is why franchising a business is easier than opening your own business concept. And of course, the good thing is you always have the support of your franchisor. So uh, the last one would be adapting an entrepreneurial mindset is part of the list. Of course, so when you franchise a business, you'll have to be responsible in running the entire business for. And uh, as a franchisee, you have to constantly learn. Okay, and keep growing with the help of your franchisor. Next slide, please. Next slide, sir. All right, so one of the most interesting topics is whether you're going to open your own business or buy a franchise. This slide, I mean, this slide will will actually create both uh, create an interest 
both to the future franchisor and franchisees out there. So franchises are actually different from regular businesses in terms of benefits. So uh, let's say you know, franchise is also a chance to own a business. So let's say um, hire staff and also generate income for yourself, just like any other startup business. Okay, and all the franchisors and franchisees are both legally independent entities. Ang advantage din po nito is the franchisor controls the products and services that the franchisees are permitted to sell. Okay, so franchises also have the higher chance to succeed. Uh, why? Because the franchisor is required to provide trainings, actually uh, continuous training and assistance uh, to the franchisee. So ikaw as a franchisee, you don't have to feel afraid, although uh, we, we do understand your hesitations. Okay, but um, again, you don't have to be afraid to run a business that is something new to you. Remember that uh, you know, almost everything will be shared to you in case you get approved in a franchise. So ano lang yan? good example is uh, it's just like 90% of the food franchises that we've encountered uh, doesn't even know how to cook. Okay, they only know how to eat. But uh, to be honest, po, no, it would be an advantage. I mean, if you have an experience uh, and knowledge when you, um, let's say, when you when you engage into a franchise, yun po yung parang pinakang advantage natin. But again, uh, that's the beauty of franchising. You get to acquire someone's experience and eventually train, uh, eventually learn from the trainings. So getting a franchise also means less risk than independent startup business. Um, on our side, we're not actually saying po na that it's actually uh, more expensive to start your own business than buying a franchise. But uh, yung tinatawag nating long-term cost, okay, pag pagdating sa franchising is over. Because the trial and error stage of, of building a startup business is eliminated because there is someone who will guide you along the way, which is your franchisor. All right, so aside from the first two benefits I've mentioned, is also the benefits from research and development. Okay, so being a good franchisor, um, you have to find different ways to make your network more successful. And the pinakang main job ko ng franchisee, aside from running the entire franchise business, is to also adapt to any changes na babaguhin or na pwedeng mabago along the way. And for us to have a better understanding of why franchising is actually the best way for expansion. If the system is properly developed, I'm going to share you a whole picture of what does a franchise provide. All right, next slide, please. Okay, so let me start with system standard. Okay, so uh, on this part, a franchisor must implement policies, uh, systems, and procedures by rewarding compliance and enforcing system standards. So meaning each and every franchisee should be operating the, the same way. Okay, po, as the franchisor operates his business. Okay, the second one is use of trademark. Um, aside from the business system, your franchisor will also allow you to use his trademark for a certain period of time. So again, one tip uh, before you actually engage for a franchise is you should always, always check the trademark registration of the brand. Okay, you can either check it via IPO database or even check it with the franchise association in case you need help. And then the third one is experience and wisdom of, of the franchise, or it is also common for a franchisee to have no experience, okay, in running a franchise. But uh, in franchising a business, you get to acquire someone's uh, expertise, as I mentioned earlier, and experience of doing the business and does not have to go through the pain of a startup uh, company or startup business. Your franchisor will, again, definitely guide you along the way. Okay, and operations manual, of course, after signing the franchise agreement and uh, while undergoing a training, a franchisor will give you a hard copy. Okay, it's always a hard copy of the operations manual, the how-to documentation of the business operation, and of course, the implementation of the whole system. Okay, so training, of course, part of the franchise fee that you will be paying, a uh, franchisor will provide you effective initial training regarding system standards and operations. So uh, the length of the training will also depend on what type of business you are planning to franchise. All right, so site selection assistance and location approval. Uh, normally, franchisors here in the Philippines 
do not usually provide locations uh, and prospective franchisees have to secure their own location. But of course, with all the experience, um, a franchisor will know where a franchise business shall be located. So normally, um, a franchisor will visit or let's say inspect the target location prior to the start of the construction. Okay, and then of course, since in franchising, we practice 100% the uniformity of the loop, a franchisor will also provide you a store layout. Okay, that you have to strictly follow. Po. And then construction supervision, um, either your franchisor will be the one responsible for the construction of the franchise outlet, or um, let's say a franchisor will let you look for your own contractor. Sa pagdating po sa ganitong part, you just have to talk to your franchisor then. And then of course, uh, exclusive territory, kapag sinabi natin exclusive territory, your franchisor will also protect your target market. Okay, we are normally practicing giving radius to our franchisees. And then ang minimum radius that we need to follow is around 500 meters. But of course, we have to consider also the target market. Okay, and then procurement program, every franchisor will establish a procurement program or the list of authorized suppliers and supply that the franchisee has to follow. Ito po yung hindi kayo pwedeng... Um, bumili or mag-outsource ng product, especially kapag hindi kayo inalaw ni franchisor. Okay, and then opening assistance as a franchisee, you should expect also an opening uh, assistance from your franchisor. This will be part of the franchise fee na babayaran natin. And then normally, magpapadala si franchisor ng, let's say, ng isa to two staffs to be with you during the opening day of your franchise outlet uh, just to assist you with your operations. And then marketing strategies or normally ito yung um, advertising and marketing programs uh, to maximize the advantage of the common trade identity. Of course, with nationwide advertisements, uh, let's say, for example, like radio or TV commercials through a national advertisement fund. Okay, so each and every franchisee has to pay a certain percentage okay, of gross sales uh, as a contribution. Okay, and then research and development. Uh, the last one, a good franchisor will always find different ways to make it net, to make its network more successful. So as again, as a genius franchisee, you are not allowed to come up with your new policies, new sets of products, or new menus, for example. All right. So now that now that you have uh, an idea about some technical aspects uh, of franchising, you might be thinking on on actually becoming a franchisor. And finally, decide to expand your business with the help of RK Franchise Consultancy. So let me just add more flavors to our discussion. Uh, you might want to take a bigger step towards your plan for expansion. But yeah, definitely, um, franchising is, is a good strategy for business growth. Here's why. Because um, in, in, in franchising, definitely, franchisor can be on a greater geographical presence. Okay, because by becoming a franchisor, you can control your expansion, where you want to be, and how many outlets you can open, for example. So um, definitely, you can expand your business at the speed you want to grow. So there are actually two types of franchisors. One who only lives in a shell and is happy with having, uh, let's say, one to three franchises in a year. Or this franchisor only wants to focus his expansion, uh, halimbawa, within Visayas area. Halimbawa po. And then meron naman pong uh, other type of franchise or na, who wants to expand anywhere. Like our uh, like our client Jerry's Grill, local or international expansion. Okay, so regardless if you're a franchise or one or a franchise or two, the growth of your business depends on how fast okay, and how far you want to grow. And then meron din tayong natawag na use OPM or other people's money. So by expanding through franchising means um, you don't need to shell out your own money. I mean, yes, you can. Uh, let's say, for example, you wanted to open additional company outlets, but uh, your franchisees will be the one to shell out a certain capital investment. Okay, in order for them to open their own franchise business, and by opening their franchise business means they have to do the full operation. So this is why franchising creates a lesser direct involvement in the operations. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, franchisor and uh, franchisees 
I'm sorry, sir. Can you go back to the previous slide? All right. So as I mentioned earlier, franchisors and franchisees are legally independent entities provided with all the trainings and assistance by the franchisor. The franchisee will be the one to manage their franchise business. All right. So uh, given the fact that franchising is a good strategy for business growth, as a franchisor, you can also enjoy these three ways on how you, you can earn from uh, franchising your business, which I'm going to talk about on my next slide. All right, so uh, let's start with the franchise fee. Okay, uh, this uh, the franchise fee or also called as an initial franchise fee or the value of your trademark in which uh, the franchisee pays for the right to use the brand name or and uh, the franchise system as a whole. We've actually experienced and we've been experiencing this until now that a lot of first timer franchises uh, thinks that the franchise fee covers the entire cost to operate an outlet. Okay, typically po kasi the franchise fee refer, refers to a one-time payment paid in the beginning of, of the relationship or partnership. Okay, but uh, other than this, there are also ongoing fees like um, payment for the continuation fee or royalty fee. There's also a common question from, from a franchise applicant, for example, why do we need to pay uh, a separate franchise or a separate fee for royalty fee when there is already a franchise fee? To answer that question, Paul, no, royalty and continuation fee are for the continuous use of trademark and continuous support of the franchisor. So you have to take note that these are both paid monthly once you've started the operation. And the only difference between the two, continuation fee Paul, is a, a calculated is actually calculated on a fixed amount regardless kung mataas or mababa yung sales ni, franchise, uh, ni franchisee and you have to pay a fixed amount every month. Okay, while royalty fee is a percentage which is actually based from the gross sales. So pag sinabi natin gross sales, uh, meaning total sales minus tax, minus discounts, like senior citizen discounts, and if in case uh, that the franchisee is also partnered with delivery service company like Food Panda, uh, Lala Move, etc. Okay, so every franchisee has the legal responsibilities and they must run the franchise business according to the operations manual and franchise agreement. So this is also why a franchisor can easily implement an established procurement program. Uh, as a franchisor, you can also earn money from franchise through the products and supplies. Okay, through a procurement program, which is the list of authorized suppliers and supplies, which is every franchisee should follow um, this sources 100%. Okay, so the franchisor controls operating assets, goods, and services uh, utilized by the franchisee through the procurement program. So if you have a business and would like to become the next franchisor, it's also important that you know the demand and supply so you can also foresee the growth of your business. So on my next slide, you can actually see na ayan 60% pa rin yung yung demand for food businesses. So when we talk about food businesses, meron tayong under restaurants, cafes, food carts or even food kiosks and under 15 is more on the vanity or what has to do with the beautification of course. 10% is under the health, 5% in retail stores, 4% is under the beast franchises like internet cafes and even pawn shops. And meron tayong 3%, it can be under the education or all others like gasoline stations, cleaning service company, or even car wash business. All right, so in my next slide, if you also want to check the existing clients that we have developed, or you may also want to buy a franchise, you uh, can also visit for free our website at www.franchise.ph for more franchise opportunities. All right, so in my next slide, if you want to become the next franchisor, uh, we've actually got you covered. As what I've mentioned earlier, RK Franchise Consultancy provides complete professional franchise development that includes uh, yeah, the following, the franchise structure, uh, franchise structure. This is where we calculate the value of a franchise, operations manual, for example, that will serve as a Bible of your store. So normally we will be assigning one of our business developers to do this. And then franchise legal agreements, including side agreements, to make sure that you're doing franchising on a legal way. Okay, next slide, uh, franchise marketing. 
yes, we do covers marketing both uh, the materials and assistance. Okay, franchise or manual, and of course, FIFA membership. Um, with an ongoing training for our franchise or our all and all other aspects of franchising are all also part of our development service. So if you want a detailed explanation of our development service, we are doing a free virtual consultation. All you have to do is to contact us and book an appointment uh, as easy as that post. So let me just give you some facts as to why are you going to choose RK Franchise Consultancy. So as I've mentioned, we've been doing the franchise development for 22 years already. And because of that, we have developed uh, more than, I mean, around 800 brands. And of course, we offer long-term assistance with an extended payment terms. Pop. Okay, we also provide yearly membership meeting uh, to update our franchise or let's say what's, what's new in franchising uh, every year in the year of 2022. Let's say we developed them last 10 years ago. They got to be updated on any changes. All right. And of course, um, on my next slide, before I officially end my presentation, I would just like to leave this simple quotation for now from an up from an American entrepreneur, uh, James Cash Penny. Growth is never by mere chance. It is the result of working together. So if you're if your plan is to eventually grow your business, um, I'm telling you, Paul, franchising is perfect for you. So the next time that you're going to ask yourself, uh, is my business franchisable? Ask our team, and we will, uh, of course, work together to help you build your own success. And for my last slide, here's our, um, I think we have, we are having some technical problems, but uh, yeah, here's how you can connect to us. Again, if you're planning to expand your business through franchising, you can contact us at 0917-874-3620, 0933-864-2552. Or you can also email me at rkfranchise at yahoo.com to book a free initial consultation. So again, thank you very much for joining this for joining us this afternoon i really hope that you've learned a lot from my presentation today and uh maraming salamat po at muli magandang hapon po sa ating lahat thank you so okay thank you mom shay it was a very precise informative presentation so i am sure all of us in this studio relate to each and every word that you mentioned so thank you for sharing okay so uh, for those who are interested to have a business developed by RK Franchise Consultancy, we are doing a free virtual franchise, uh, virtual initial consultation via Zoom. Book a schedule with their team by contacting, uh, contact them at uh, their landline numbers 8912-2946 or 8912-2973 uh, or their mobile numbers at 0917-874. 3620 or 0933-864-2552. Um, uh, or you can also chat with them through RK Franchise Consultancy Facebook page or email them at rkfranchise at yahoo.com or wefranchise at, uh, at ymail.com. So you can also follow us or uh, on our social media accounts to be updated on uh, to be updated uh, on our latest uh, events and postings and don't forget to subscribe uh, to subscribe in our youtube channel uh, rk franchise to watch our existing webinars you can also watch our upcoming episodes of uh, franchise hour uh, from different guests every thursday at 4 p.m live by uh, rudo kotik facebook Okay, so now our first presenter for this afternoon is, uh, is a well-known brand for its reliable, clean, and safe burning fuel that's perfect for uh, regular cooking in the kitchen. As more and more people become interested in this brand, they are also open for dealer uh, dealership nationwide. To tell us about, the, uh, about their franchise opportunities, uh, let us welcome the LPG franchise lead of Phoenix uh, Phoenix uh, Super LPG, Miss um, Marlene B. Uh, B. Yes. 
Good afternoon, Sok. No? Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for having me for this Palawan Franchise Expo. And magandang hapon po sa lahat po na nanonood sa atin via our live stream uh, using the Palawan Franchise Facebook page. Yeah. So, uh, today I will discuss very quick lang what is Phoenix Super LPG Franchise. No? Next slide, please. So, uh, before we start, no, my name is Marlene Reyes. I am currently the LPG Franchise Lead for Phoenix LPG Philippines Luzon, and I'll be the one uh, to discuss with you what are the offers of the Phoenix Super LPG franchise and paano makakatulong yung Phoenix Super LPG franchise in sa paghahanap nyo ng negosyo na ating pipiliin upang magkaroon tayo ng investment. So next slide please. So next slide please. Ayan, so quick company background lang po kung sino si Phoenix Super LPG. Phoenix, Phoenix Super LPG is formerly known as the Gas Petronas or the, or the Petronas Energy Philippines. Last August 2017, Phoenix, Phoenix Petroleum acquired the Petronas Philippines and we started operating as a whole by 2018. Right now, our market share is at 6.92% and we are engaged in many activities like household, commercial, LPG trading, industrial use. We also supply shopping malls, forklift requirements between canisters and boilers. We have services like uh, LPG refilling, import terminaling, and we have pipeline installation. And we are also engaged in LPG wholesale supply with the support of our Phoenix Singapore training. Next slide, please. So, Phoenix Super LPG is part of the number one independent oil company in the Philippines, which is the Phoenix Petroleum, with an annual revenue turnover of $2 billion and with a market share of 8.3%. As you can see on the screen, we are, uh, this, the, this is our portfolio. No? So we have the radial stations, we have commercial fuels, we have terminaling, we have aviation, we have Phoenix uh, Petroleum Trading, we also have asphalt, lubricants, and LPG in the Philippines and in Vietnam. We also have it, uh, the number one uh, convenience store, the Family Mart, and the digital payments. So next slide, please. So the economy is slowly opening, but most Filipinos are, are still in need of safe and reliable cooking fuel at home. So because of the pandemic, because of the situation that we are right now, even though na, the economy is slowly opening up na, lahat tayo or most of us, uh, medyo takot pa rin na lumabas para magkumain, ganyan. So we are still looking for partners like you to distribute our products. So next slide, please. So, uh, this pandemic may, may, uh, uh, this pandemic uh, brought us many things like, uh, di natin alam na nagkakaroon pala ng pandemic, di ba? We are caught in a situation na hindi natin alam kung ano yung una natin gagawin. And one of the siguro, one of the positive things that this pandemic brought to us is, um, binigay niya, uh, parang it made us realize what is the importance of the essentials. No? LPG as, a, as an essential one. Bigla siya nagkaroon ng opportunity for all the Filipinos, for all the for all our kababayans, for all the people na naghahanap, naghahanap ng negosyo. No? So since LPG is a cooking or uh, is a is part of the essential group, so nagkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na, mag, na, na mas madami pa tayong ma-distribute na LPG. So um even with or with or without the pandemic, no, people eats, people cooks. So, even may mga typhoons, ganyan, lahat ng tao kumakain pa rin. So, lahat ng tao kailangan talaga ng LPG. So, with that, next slide please. So, we are offering the 5-in-1 franchise package. We have LPG, we have lubricants, we have bills payment, we have money remittance, we have SIM and load. Lahat ng ito po ay kasama na sa aming ano, franchise package. Next slide please. So, these are the inclusions and the franchise arrangements. Previously, we are offering a 3-in-1 franchise package for 620000 But right now, we are offering a 5-in-1 franchise package for only 350000 Please take note that the 350000 is a startup capital to jumpstart your Phoenix Super LPG franchise. So, ano yung kasama sa 350000 So, we have 75 pieces cylinders with content, 11 kg. With the, uh, 75 pieces regulators, we, ha we have 4 six sets of lubricants. We have 1 unit possible device. We have one money remittance, Dito SIM card inventory, digital marketing support, LPG and product trainings, after sales supports, and no royalty fees. So for Phoenix Super LPG po, uh, uh, your minimum startup capital is 350000 So 
Um, we don't have royalty fees. We don't have cash band, ganyan. And then, next slide, please. So, ano po yung mga requirements para makapagbukas tayo ng Phoenix Super LPG franchise? So, uh, you just need to send a letter of intent with your proposed location, at least 20 to 30 square meters. Location, renovation, construction, and rent would be at your cost. Hindi po siya kasama sa 350,000. So, the business permits, ganyan, sa inyo rin po yan. Two-man power, one hub attendant, and one motorcycle rider, sa inyo rin po yan. Utilities, fuel and maintenance, the trade materials such as the motorcycle, weighing skills, branding, and signages will be uh, at your cost as well. So, Yung lahat po, yung brand guidelines, kung ano yung itsura ng store, kung ano yung itsura ng signage, lahat po yun, ipaprovide po ng company yung designs. Ang gagawin na lang po natin, ipapagawa na lang po natin. So, next slide, please. So, this is the possible digital payment device na uh, kasama din po sa package na meron siyang money padala, e-money, bills payment, prepaid loading, prepaid utilities, e-pins, and gaming pins, and we also have insurance. Yeah. Next slide, please. So, apart Part of the additional business opportunity that you offer in Phoenix Super LPG is the is to become the third telco retail outlet of the Dito Telecommunity. So, lahat po ng aming mga incoming franchises no, will be part of our as our third telco retail outlet. Yeah. Next slide, please. So, these are some of the Phoenix Super LPG franchises that we opened during the pandemic. So, we have the Dahlia Crescent City. Uh, they are business owners. No? Uh, their uh, existing business are being affected also by the pandemic. Kasi yung uh, una nilang business was a gasoline station. So, since walang activity yung mga tao, walang masyadong lumalabas. So, mabagal din or mababalang din yung uh, fuel volume nila. So, they opted up or they, they redirect their investment to Phoenix Super LPG. And then, we have in Timo Crescent City, employed naman sila. They are... Uh, because of the pandemic then um they it made them realize na kailangan nila ng other income pa kasi hindi tayo secured kung nasaan man tayo ngayon di ba and then lastly is the Batangas one naman ito naman future retirees no so as pandemic came ganyan and then nagkaroon din ng mga retrenchments and the like so they are preferring na baka isang araw sila na yung mapasama dun sa mga mawawala na work wag naman sana so the Phoenix Super LPG is para is is a is a good investment for those people who are looking to to have a start to have an initial start of franchise business kasi yung yung LPG kailangan siya ng mga tao hindi kailangan siya ng lahat ng tao next slide please so these are some of the digital marketing campaigns na ginagawa ng company to help our franchises to distribute their products so we have the partnerships with multiple uh Online sellers, we have the Shopee, we have Lazada, we have uh, we have our own limitless platform, our our own limitless app. Doon namin nilalabas lahat ng mga promos namin. And then you also have the uh, online platform or the online ordering web app of Phoenix Super LPG. So next slide, please. So these are this is the uh, 3,000 Phoenix Super LPG touch points nationwide. So help us expand our network and meet our growing customer and be part of the Phoenix Super LPG franchise community. So we are available po nationwide, hindi lang po sa Luzon, hindi lang po sa Vismin, kundi po buong Pilipinas po. So next slide, please. So paano ba mag-apply ng Phoenix Super LPG franchise? So napakanali lang po, just send us a letter of intent, and then you, you pay the reservation fee. The reservation fee po is kasama na sa 350000 na babayaran natin. So the reservation fee is for the area because the... We will provide exclusivity for the area. And then you will undergo the franchise site assessment. And then we will assess the area if it's safe and if it's viable for LPG franchise. And you will go live for minimum of two months. No? Yeah. Next slide, please. So if you have questions for regarding the Phoenix Super LPG franchise, uh, you can visit our official uh, Facebook page or you can message the RK Consulting Firm po for, for your uh, franchise needs. No? And thank you for listening for this afternoon. Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Reyes, for that very exciting offer presentation. So if you have questions for Ms. Reyes, please contact her at uh, marlene.reyes at phoenixpetroleum.ph. So okay, thank you so much. And uh, moving uh, to our next uh, presenter is uh, from a well-known milk tea brand, the Pioneer Thai Tea brand in the country and uh, known for bringing the authentic uh, flavors of Thai, uh, Thailand to the Philippines. 
So yeah. please help me welcome the marketing specialist of Chatok Chak, Miss yeah. Mara Inchon. Hi everyone, my name is Margo. Uh, I'm so excited to be here with you and also sobrang exciting din na introduce yung aming brand sa inyong lahat ngayon. So I hope you guys are doing great. Sana okay tayong lahat. Next slide please. Oh, next. Okay. So, of course, I want and I would really love to introduce Chatok Chak to you guys if you haven't heard of Chatok Chak. Well, we are the pioneer Thai tea brand here in the country. Actually, we are one of the first to bring the authentic flavors of Thailand to the Philippines. And we are so happy that we get a lot of support and love for from our audience, from our customers here. And since nandito na rin naman tayo, uh, of course, we are also one of the most loved milk tea brand in the country. Next slide, please. Of course, what we do, of course, um, we concoct products that have the perfect blend of aroma, flavor, and taste that captures the best representation of Thailand's local essence. So our products, combined with our team of highly passionate baristas, delivering superior service gives our customer the feeling of being in a local Thai cafe. So we want to at least mentally export our audience and our customers to a Thailand cafe, cafe every time they take a sip of our drink and also every time they enter our stores. Next slide, please. Of course, just like any other brands out there, we also have our brand vision, which is to transform every corner into a haven where we hashtag brighten your mood with every cup. Next slide, please. So our mission, okay, so before we start with our mission, I would like to introduce Tuki. So Tuki is actually our official mascot for Chatuk Chak because Tuki best represents our brand and here's why. So Tuki, always move forward and always adapt. Unendingly be passionate in all that we do. Know what brightens our customers' moods and of course, inspire the senses. Next slide, please. So, syempre, ano ba naman ang isang milk tea brand if we don't have like this variety of delicious milk tea options? So, sana wag muna kayong mag-crave. So, of course, here is our menu. So, we have our specialty drinks, our premium cheesecake, our Thai classics and milk tea, our yuzu lemonade and fruits. So, before we move forward, of course, bibigyan ko kayo ng rundown. We have our Thai classics and milk tea which offers some of the most authentic Thai flavors such as Chayen, Nom Yen, and Coco Yen na makikita nyo lang sa local Thai cafe. So we also have our specialty drinks. Um, si Biscoff, if you guys are familiar with Biscoff, Biscoff is actually one of our best sellers here. And we are one of the first brands to actually incorporate the flavor of Biscoff in our milk tea. And this also helped escalate our sales and escalate Biscoff sales. So we also have our premium cheesecake, which is super patok sa mga Pilipino kasi matamis. So one sip pa lang, nako, masasatisfy na kaagad yung cravings nyo. And if you're just looking for something refreshing, something perfect for the summer weather, we also have the variety of yuzu lemonade and fruits wherein, of course, we use the very fresh ingredients next slide please and here is our store so if you can see if you could see rather our store is very warm very natural um masarap mag hang out masarap mag invite ng friends when you guys just want to have a very chill day it's not very commercialized um next slide please so again um we have special um i'm oh, sorry our stores actually have different designs per locations. However, it still falls pa rin sa branding ni Chatuk Chak. But this just shows our adaptability to wherever you guys want your franchise to be. So next slide, please. So here are some, here are some photos of our stores. Um, next slide, please. So yes, very pet friendly din po sa Chatuk Chak. So if you guys are fur parents, nako, you can bring in your pets here as well. Next slide, please. So yeah, again, this is our store. Very chill lang, very not commercialized. And super patok again for millennials as well since the store is very Instagrammable too. Masarap magpicture dito. And here are just some of our stores inside the mall if you guys want to have an idea of what it would look like if you're interested as well. Next slide, please. And of course, here is our digital performance as well. Si Chatok Chak po, we have a very active online community. Very engaging, very maingay in a way na masaya. Um, here 
in our Facebook page, we o- we actually have over 72,000, if I'm not mistaken, who follows our page na nakaabang, who always engage, who always likes, who always shares our posts and our content. So, next slide, please. So, for Instagram, we also have 15.3 thousand followers. And for Twitter, we also have 1,241 followers. So, we do take our digital marketing side very seriously. We're in, we create very timely, trendy content na na-engage ang aming mga audience and customers as well. Next slide, please. And of course, if you guys want to know more about us, about Chatok Chak, you can visit our website, which is at www.chatokchak.com. Oh, there we go. And here, um, here are just some of our loyal customers. I'm back, guys. <laughs> so here are just some of our loyal customers. Some are very familiar faces. You can see influencers, celebrities, um, public figures, um, even beauty queens. Next slide, please. So as you can see, we have like some big media personalities as well supporting Chatuk Chak and promoting us as well. And if you guys are familiar with Masarap Ba, we also have features from them, review from them. So again, Masarap Ba is one of the most non-biased food reviewers here in the Philippines. So basically, walang bayad po yan, ha? They just fully authentic, they just fully share their experience, um, their opinion towards a food or let's say new launches and i am happy to say that of course chat of chat is masarap ba approved so next slide please we also have a lot of online partnerships one of which is si gaya sa pelikula if you guys are familiar with that one it's actually um an online series if i'm not mistaken it's also on netflix so we're also partnering up with some kumu hosts and we're also featured with some media outlets such as news 5 Next slide, please. Um, Lifestyle Inc. Um, of, cor- of course, Cosmopolitan, One in Manila, Spot PH. Next slide, please. Um, Rappler, and again, Spot PH. So again, we have a really active and really nice tie-in with medias as well. So if that actually taps your interest to franchise with us, I'm here to discuss our franchise packages and fees. So for one unit, you guys, uh, you can get it for all for just... 590,000 pesos and that can grant you 4 years of contract. If you just if you guys just want to start new and fresh, you can just get one unit from us. But then we also offer an area franchise as well. Um this one would last over 6 years and of course um again, um as mentioned naman na our team will be happy to guide you all throughout if you guys want to extend your contract. We're going to make sure that your um, process is going to be fuss-free. And if I haven't mentioned, an area franchise will get you over one, will cost you at around 1.5 million pesos. But that will grant you the area to yourself. So if you guys are not fan of competitions or if you guys just want to prioritize the specific space to your own, then this is a good franchise to get. Next slide, please. So again, um, to any franchise in franchise um, package that you get, we have this amazing inclusions as well, such as free bar tools and basic equipment, use of trademarks, training for franchisee and staff, opening assistance, research and development, marketing assistance, just to name some. And of course, we also offer store opening displays. So rest assured, the entire CPC team is here with you once you avail a franchise and we will surely take care of you. Next slide, please. So our application process is super simple and super super fuss-free. So to give you guys a rundown, it's as simple as step one, application. Step two, for approval. Step three, for awarding. Then step four, the site. And step five, for onboarding. And again, you guys, if you are interested in having a franchise with us, you can contact us via chatokchak.com, our website. Uh, the details are there. Or also you can contact Um, the Franchise Expo too. So next slide, please. So again, of course, I know that you guys are wondering, bakit si Chatok Chak? Why us? Of course, we have the profitability. So here you can see that um, we are among the top sales performing merchant on delivery 
platforms. And to share with you this year, we are also top 5 favorite milk tea under Grab Food. And we're also top merchant with Food Panda as well. So, next slide please. So again, we also have 40 branches and growing. So for this year, don't worry, there will be more. If you franchise with us, there will be more branches of CTC around the Philippines. Next slide, please. And of course, we value our partnerships with trusted brands together with our monthly promos and campaigns. And we also have trusted and ongoing partnership. Next slide, please. And the one that we're, we just recently launched is our brand tie-up with Uno. Actually, we are the official um, brand who has a, who has a first tie-up sa business nila. So right now, we just launched our new wild drinks with Uno. And if you guys have time, please do check it out kasi marami din kaming exciting na ganap and giveaways for you all. So next slide, please. So again, you know... Um, the thing about CTC, the thing about Chat of Chat that makes it really great and amazing is that we are also timely and trending. So one of the things that we'd love to share with you is our Dalgona series. If you guys are familiar with it, nung pandemic, di ba sobrang sikat ni Dalgona. So we were quick to act upon on it, to just formulate and just create a new um, drinks that will be a part of this trend. And we really and we released the Dalgona series that is very much loved by our customers and very much requested until today, actually, if you're going to ask me. So next slide, please. Oh, I think there's an error with this one. Um, yes, but um, again, we make sure again to hashtag brighten your mood through our service and products. So again, thank you guys so much for giving us the opportunity to share our brand with you and we hope to see you soon and thank you. Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Margo, for that wonderful presentation. If you have question for Miss Margo, please contact her at letsmargo.letswork.margo uh, at gmail.com. Okay, so uh, moving on to our next presenter, uh, this brand is one of the largest donut chains in the world and are respected leaders in the franchising industries or industry with uh, over four, uh, 500 franchise uh, stores all over the Philippines and more than a thousand outlets located inside its institutional partners. So indeed, it is uh, it has become one of the most franchise international brands here in the Philippines. So please welcome the Senior Franchising Manager of Mr. Donut Philippines, Ms. Cheryl Carino. Welcome Hi. Good afternoon, Sok, and good afternoon to the viewers of uh, FIFA, uh, yung ating uh, Palawan Franchise Expo no, ngayong hapon na ito. So let's make your afternoon more sweeter uh, by uh, offering no, naman yung franchise ng Mr. Donut. So, Siguro we, uh, what we would like to do is let's play Muna the video. I was a government employee for the past uh, 32 years. But my husband, Joe, uh, attended one of the opening ng Mr. Donut franchise shop in the O. Pinili po niya ang Mr. Donut among all the franchise brand because number one, sabi niya, the capital investment involved is affordable. Second is that Mr. Donut products uh, caters almost all to all people from A to D customers. And the most important factor na sinabi niya sa akin is he believes in Mr. Donut brand and the product. Sabi po niya emphasizing that it's Mr. Donut. How can I go wrong? So
So, March 2000, yung first uh, shop na na-open namin is Mr. Donuts, Florida Blanca. Before the uh, opening of Mr. Donut, ang ano po namin is nag-work ako, retired na po yung husband ko, so wala po talaga kaming definite na eto na, pwede ng panghabang buhay ito kasi after retirement, ganun po yung nangyari sa husband ko, wala naman siyang trabaho after retirement. Nabago po yung buhay namin in the sense na parang na-level up ba yung standing ng buhay namin from uh, salaried private employee sa husband ko, ako naman ay nasa government employee. Para ito na, nagkaroon kami ng business, na-acquire na nila mommy at ni daddy yung business namin way back 2000. Uh, natutuwa ako kasi um, niisip ko na hindi na ako, after college, hindi, pwede hindi na ako magtrabaho sa iba is um, ma-involve na lang ako dun sa business namin. Talagang inaral ko lahat from the outside and the inside of our business. After 16 years at franchisee, the stores we opened in March 2000 grew or naging eight stores na po siya. Financially speaking, uh, nakatulong po ng malaki sa amin ang pag-franchise namin ng Mr. Donut. Kung dati po ang, ang car namin is uh, company car, naka-ano naka naman po kami, nakabili kami ng car. Not only one, pero nakadalawa naman. And then, ang bahay namin from a mere low-cost housing project ng GSIS, uh, naparenovate namin, naka ano rin po kami ng isang rest house na nadadala ni Joy yung mga kapwa franchisee and friends from the Rotary. Ito ngayon, anak, ang may iwan namin sa'yo na sana to the next generation sa mga anak mo, sa mga apo mo, eh, makontinue mo yung pinaghirapan namin business ng daddy mo. Uh, bilang pinapasa na ni Mami sa akin yung, yung pag-manage ng mga businesses namin, I feel privileged and blessed at the same time. Uh, mainly because hindi lahat ng um, tao is uh, nabibigyan ng ganong opportunity. Nakayakap linagay dyan since 2004 pa, eh, nakita namin, naman namin ang pagsisikap mo, ang, ang malasakit mo sa mga stores natin. So, Marami akong plans na as of now na kung paano ko siya i-maintain, na paano nila gusto na i-maintain ko. Because uh, I promise my dad na uh, sabi ko sa kanya yung pinaghirapan niya, pinaghirapan nila, uh, iingatan ko. Talagang naniniwala ako na kayang-kaya mong ipagpatuloy with your experience, with your knowledge. Eh, alam na alam ko, mapapagpatuloy mo yan at ikaw nang bahala sa business natin.
All right. So again, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Natouch po pa kayo sa story ng aming mother and daughter na franchise. So if you also would like no, to franchise not only a business but a legacy that you can pass on to your uh, sons, daughters, and uh, grandchildren, allow me to present to you the offers that Mr. Donut uh, has for you. Because franchising is as easy as buying a box of your favorite Mr. Donut. Next, please. All right. The, the details, okay, and the forms that you need to fill out, it can be found in our, uh, in the FIFA, okay, our website. We are featured in the third Palawan Franchise Expo. You can visit the website at palawanfranchise.com. Check the offers there and download the application forms. The email also on where you will submit it is indicated there. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, the next slide, I will be showing you the packages that we have for uh, Mr. Donut. Our four square meter inclusive of the franchise fee and the asset investment. It starts at 310000 Uh Christmas na naman, no? So, it would be good if portion of your bonuses or if your savings, no? Uh, you can invest it wisely and uh, invest it on a vis business like um, Mr. Donut. Okay. Uh, also, we have a uh, Mr. Donut on wheels. It starts at 257000 inclusive of the franchise fee, the motorbike, and customization. We also have a mini uh, cart. If you are an owner of a grocery store or a mini mart, you can avail of the Mr. Donut mini cart franchise for only 125 pesos. Uh, and... For those who are new in the business of uh, new in franchising, you, know, you, would, uh, you can also try our test market uh, package. It's 90-day business trial. For only 100000 you can get the feel uh, of how it is to run a franchise business for three months. Okay, 50000 of the 100000 uh, investment is also refundable. So this is a sure win um, investment, uh, especially for those who are just uh, starting. Uh, to be a uh, businessman. Okay. Next, please. All right. If you're interested, please send your email to sms at mrdonut.ph. Uh, currently, we're um, uh, facilitating or looking into the uh, several applications. So we would like to request that uh, you send us your email and contact number, and we will be getting in touch with you as soon as we receive them. Next, please. All right. Since this is a special uh, edition of the franchise presentation uh, for Palawan and Lima Ropa uh, guests, okay, I uh, I'm happy to know uh, I am happy to inform that uh, for Palawan we are currently offering no franchise fee in the following locations uh, outside Puerto Princesa. So these are uh, Roja, San Vicente, Aborlan, Dumaran, Nara, Quezon, Sofronia, Española, Brooks Point, and Rizal. Um, I understand, I was informed also uh, a while ago that we also have guests from Nimaropa region. So if you are from Nimaropa, we have uh, locations in Quezon in which we are uh, currently looking for also business partners. So if you are from Saria, Tiaong, excuse me, uh, Tayabas, Atimona, Floridel, <coughs> Pitogo, Talawag, and Quezon Avenue. We also have um, no franchise fee deals for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you're from Laguna, we also have um, no franchise fee uh, in uh, Lumban, <coughs> San Pablo, Santa Cruz. <coughs> Excuse me. For uh, Batangas, we also have no franchise fee offer in Nasugbu, Balayan, Lemery. And for Cavite, our no franchise fee offer is in Apacor and Salitran. Okay, next please. Okay, so this is for um, limited time offer only. So again, if you're interested to franchise Ms. Rona, please visit the website of uh, uh, FIFA. So that's uh, palawanfranchise.com. Uh, okay, so I wish you a good afternoon and hope to, to see you and hope to you that you will become one of our franchisees in the future. So, magandang hapon po. Thank you. Okay, so thank you. Um, okay, so thank you, Ma'am Cheryl, for that very inspiring video and an excellent presentation. So, if you have questions for Ms. Cheryl, uh, 
please contact her at 0917-103-6045. Uh, or fms at mrdonut.ph okay so we are now down to our last two percenter uh this brand is um uh this brand is a technology-based laundry delivery franchise model that has expanded over 30, uh, 300 or uh, 330 countries with more than 2,000 franchises by making technology the core of the business. So, uh, with and over the expansion eight, manager of okay, so, franchises in the okay. So, to discuss us the franchise opportunities of Mr. Uh, Jeff, let, uh, let us watch the recorded video of Miss Jana Camille Mandanas, the uh, country expansion manager. Asia. So today I will walk you through the business in a box concept of Jeff Technology Franchises and also how you can move forward in getting a Mr. Jeff Laundry Franchise. To give you a quick introduction and a history about the company, Jeff is actually a technology company. It originated and was founded in Spain. And right now, we are operating across 40 different countries with more than 2,400 stores operating. Right now, also, we offer different verticals such as uh, those related to the day-to-day -day services that the client database that we have and our future clients really need. So, for instance, right now, we will be discussing Mr. Jeff Laundry. So, right now, we have 35 and more because we've just added new franchises here in the Philippines. So across Metro Manila and also in Cebu and then other provinces and for example Laguna and uh, Cavite, we do have some stores there already. So we're looking for additional franchises to join us because we have created a demand in the Philippines and we definitely need more franchises uh, to be open soon enough to cater to the orders of our customers. So moving forward, of course, let me give you a brief background and um, what is Mr. Jeff now? We will focus on the vertical, which is the laundry segment of Jeff Technology Franchises and that is Mr. Jeff. So Mr. Jeff is uh, the bread and butter of this company. We started with Mr. Jeff way back um, 2015 in the Philippines. Imagine in just a matter of almost six years now, we were able to operate and, you know, give chance to or give this opportunity to more than 35 franchises. If, if without the pandemic, actually, most probably uh, the other franchises that we have has been able to open and start operation soon enough. But due to the pandemic, of course, there were some restrictions and difficulties when it comes to construction and things like this. So that's the only reason why, uh, you know, the other franchises are having, you know, some delays in, in doing this. However, uh, the good news is since this model, the, the one that we've built, the business in a box concept of Mr. Jeff enables you to really understand the market condition you know uh take a look at the current situation and as assess as well if this is the right timing to actually launch the business then you will be guided guided all through and through so right now we have across the globe 1200 franchises so we have built this mr jeff laundry franchise with the concept in mind and uh, we didn't really change the type of services that we are doing so like traditional laundry shops we do offer laundry ironing and dry cleaning however the concept is more to i mean towards the convenience that your customers will be getting and you as a business owner especially that there's a pandemic it's gonna be easier for you to manage your business even if you're at home you're traveling or you know you're working for instance right many of our business owners are also working in corporate in the corporate world or they have other businesses and the reason they chose mr jeff is because of the technology that we have in place the technology that helps or enable them 
to actually sustain the business and make sure that they are hitting revenue but at the same time they have access to different tools and technology that we are sharing across the platform so right now we do offer pickup and delivery services uh, in the in the mr jeff laundry app so what we've built here is a complete end-to-end -end technology platform so what happens is for instance i would like to get a laundry service so what i'll do is i'll down for instance i saw a mr jeff maybe in makati but i live in paranaque city what I'll do is, of course, I'll search online. Right now, that's what we do in anything that we want to find out. We search through Google. We search through the different platforms where we are in. And we check the companies or the brands offering the services, right? And what happens now, it keeps on suggesting. And our partnership with these different platforms made us, you know, to the top list for example, in Google search. So you can now download the app from that search. Once I download the app, I populate it with my data. I put my name, my address, and contact number. And right there and then, I will see all the services being offered in the hub near me. So we have a non-competition area, as we call it. So for franchisees, not to compete with the other ones that we have in the vicinity, the, the assurance there will be your customers will only see the hub that's nearest to them. So that is to protect you from the, com the competition, but also to protect the customers when it comes to pickup and delivery schedules. What we want to ensure here is that your customers will get the, the items on right on track, right on time. We are a global company. We maintain certain standards when it comes to these things. We've done research and we keep on improving how we would like to serve our customers. And our way to do that is actually to make sure that our hubs or our franchisees can actually cater to the orders within the vicinity and not get too overwhelmed and not be able to function properly when it comes to servicing the customers. So other than this, of course, once I place my order through the app, it goes directly to the Jeff suit or the Jeff suite. Okay, so the Jeff suite now will handle all the details about this customer. So this customer's journey, or what kind of customer is it? Like, because we offer our uh, service services in different ways, like one-time payment, or maybe this customer opted for a subscription-based, which most of our customer database would actually go to because this is a service that they, they would actually do from time to time so why not get a subscription we you choose your days wherein you would like to um you would like the franchise to pick up your laundry and then which day or time as well it will be delivered to you it's gonna be automated everything will be handled through the app and then once it's, it goes to the jeff suite we're in the manager now the business owner can handle the order and track the process because even in the jeff uh, suite you can even tag along or you can even connect your machines so by by then even if you're at home you will understand how many cycles does uh, a machine in your hub actually did today right so how many cycles did the machine today uh, i mean did uh, we do today in, in this machine and then you know you can actually compare it to the number of orders you delivered so just by that you will understand if there are discrepancies it's gonna be easier for you to identify those things even if you are not in the hub itself so other than this of course it can handle the you know notifications automation of the notification to your customers which is difficult to do because right now most of the the staff what they'll do is doing it manual and we don't want that we want your staff to focus 100 percent in delivering the best services and that is by lifting this administrative work uh, from from them right and of course the whole cycle invoicing payment uh, dashboards if you want to understand your PNL if you want to understand everything the customer cycle 
how to actually leverage on the data that you have in place, how to push for marketing initiatives through the app. It's I mean through the app and also uh, understanding the customer database that you have and analyzing how you can improve your services. So other than that, of course, after you've done the orders, it goes through the Jeff drivers. So this time around, your drivers, they will also have the, the system that can help them manage their day-to-day -day activities. And to you as an owner, even if you're at home, you will understand, right, where your driver is already. So if there are delays in deliveries and pickups, you can understand that through the app itself or to the driver app and the customers can also get notifications and they can also view where their driver is already to prepare for you know uh meeting the driver maybe in the lobby of the condominium and things like this so all in all it's an end-to-end -end system or tool for the customers to have visibility and um convenience and confidence that their items are well taken care of and that everything is on time and they don't have to worry about the service because they can track it through the app they get notified and uh, everything that has happened to their transactions will be saved through their app too and on the business side you as a manager you can monitor everything even if you're not at the store and you can analyze the data that you have to make sure that you will leverage on this data and progress the business. So other than this, of course, other than the technology in place, we have other models, um, I mean, other buckets to, to put inside our box, like the specialists that we have. These are experts who will guide you all throughout the franchise partnership. It doesn't stop after training. It doesn't stop after you reach your revenue. It's going to be a continuous partnership. We want you to be successful and we want you to be aligned to the structure that we have built, which is a proven model. And, um, you know, proving this, of course, I think the number speaks uh, on itself because of the 2,400 stores we have uh, across the globe that only proves to show how strong the business model is and we are applying this across different markets once we apply it in different markets we get or we capture the best practices and we apply it to the other ones that we have of course we guide you with brand and promotions a way for this to be really effective is a complete guidance and giving you tools access in order for you to hyper localize the marketing right so everything is in one place everything is already there has been utilized has been proven effective you are just the one we're waiting for of course we don't want you to feel that once you get a franchise that's it it's gonna run on its own no it won't you have to be also proactive when it comes to the guidance of our experts and of course with the guidance of the different um, settings that you will be operating in right other than this we've built this with an ecosystem so if you want to scale up your business since Jeff is a technology company then you are in a right place because you won't just be locked in a laundry a laundry segment or laundry industry here you can check on the different verticals that we've we've entered research and also have proven effective in different markets and if you want to take advantage of that if you want to make sure that by the fifth or tenth year you want to scale up your business then this is the right business to scale up just to give you an example our first franchisee here started with one laundry shop right now he's opened four laundry shops uh, in different areas in metro manila in just a matter of six years and he didn't even have an experience in the laundry industry so that's how it works it's scalable it's easy uh, it, I mean it's readily available we just need the right franchisee to join us of course there's a business opportunity coming into the picture because this is built with a smart investment concept meaning to say we tailor fit everything to your market, to your budget. So we will guide you not to burn the cash flow that you have initially. We will guide you to set up at a minimum minimum amount 
so that together with your partner success manager from our end you will analyze the market which services are actually being taken in your area some areas would have more ironing services compared to laundry and this are the expertise that you need this is the the intelligence that you need in order to not burn your cash use your cash effectively and most importantly provide services that are really needed in your area right so in order for you to sustain this business you have to give them the services that they actually need but not what you actually want to provide right so with this type of intelligence you'd be able to smartly decide on things right and other than this utilize your finances correctly okay so and many more you know there's more to this but we are given a limited time to actually discuss this and i'd love to to move further with the discussion with you so i'm inviting you to join us in the different talks that we're, we're doing with um rudolph and fifa so it's a true email and my email address is jana.mandanas at mrjeffapp.com or maybe message or call me through my local number that is 0917-146-4510. You can also chat with us live through the through the through any other website um, that FIFA has for this expo event. And I look forward really to talking to you soon and having you as a partner and family of Mr. Jeff. And join the Jeff Revolution. Have a great weekend. Bye. Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Jana, for that very informative presentation. If you have questions for Ms. Jana, please contact her at 0917-146-4510 or uh, jana.mandanas at mrjeffup.com. Okay, so uh, we are now approaching the last part of this program. And, uh, for the, and for our last and final presenter, the brand, uh, uh, this brand is a Southern American inspired restaurant established in early 2017 by a prominent chef. This, uh, they specialize in classic Southern hits like uh, their famous signature, the six hour hawkery smoke uh, St. Louis cut premium pork ribs, which is a new player and instant hit on the Filipino uh, taste buds. And now, they are open for franchise. So, so tell, so to tell us about their franchise offer. May I, may I introduce to you the franchise operation uh, operations head of Southern Grind Bistro, Mr. Lennon D. Chavez. Welcome, sir. Hello, sir. Hi. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hi. Slides. Hi, good afternoon. By the way, my name is uh, Lennon De Chavez. I am the Franchise Operations Head of Southern Grind Bistro. As mentioned earlier, Mr. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, we started the year 2017. Uh, that uh, that year, uso uso yung mga uh, food uh, park, and then uh, we started as a food park sa may uh, Commonwealth, and then. Uh, Siyempre, dahil sa maraming mga customers natin o guests natin, no, yung mga naghanap ng lasa, some of the customers are asking na, can we have a full uh, skill restaurant? Which eventually, nag-develop tayo in the span of a year, we open a lot of restaurant since then. And then it is established by our chef own Chef Con. Next slide, please. So, yeah. He is Chef Ton, or we call him Chef Ton. His full name is Antonio Carmelo Talion. He's the president and CEO of Southern Grind Bistro. Uh, what good about his story is that he is also just a normal uh, Filipino na who, who is working, especially when he works abroad. And then yung mga experiences niya, pinagsama-sama niya, and decided na he wanted to start his own business, which is uh, Southern Grind Bistro, which offers... A lot of uh, it's still food based on a uh, Louisiana part of uh, US. Next, please. And so eventually, when he started his own business, isalang naman ang mission niya 
to offer a distinct Cajun flavor of Southern American soul food in all, on, on own creative, innovative, unique way. So, mas gusto niya na makilala tayo na, syempre sa Filipinas kasi hindi masyado pang kilala ang Cajun na flavor food eh. Most of the most kasi ng mga restaurant natin sa Pilipinas is more on Filipino food pa rin ang tinatangkilip natin. And yun yung gusto niyang i-share sa mga Filipino that a certain product or certain food that can meet the taste bud of the Filipino uh, kahit ba iba sa na nakagawian natin ng panlasa. Next please. So, na-create siya ng different kind of uh, variety of food. So, unang-una dyan, syempre, ang smo uh, St. Louis smoked pork ribs. One of our best seller or our main dish. What good about this is, there are a lot of restaurants as well na nagbebenta talaga ng, ng ribs. However, what makes us different from the other smoked uh, ribs is that, from the other ribs is that the word smoke. All of our ribs that we serve to our guests or our uh, customers are all smoked. Na eventually kasi most of the most kasi hindi ba kapag bumibili ka sa mga restaurants either it's either the grilled or the fried but now we are opening the door for a smoke ribs no which is eventually magandang acceptance ng mga customers natin aside from our famous uh, smoke ribs next slide please one of our best seller din na create ng Southern Grind Bistro is jambalaya so jambalaya kung iisipin mo siya o titignan mo siya same like the Filipino version of paella Okay, but this one, syempre, mayroon siyang distinct flavor which is the Cajun uh, flavor. So we do have different uh, uh, styles na ginawa for jambalaya. We do have uh, chicken jambalaya for those who are chicken lovers. And also we do have shrimp jambalaya. And sa mga seafood lovers naman, we also created this uh, new new uh, flavor of uh, jambalaya which is the seafood jambalaya. And aside from jambalaya, next slide please. We also have the Cajun Shrimp Gambas, one of our best seller din yan. Next, please. Our Chinatown Hot Wings, alam naman natin na most of the Filipino, no, mahilig talaga sa chicken. So, we ensure that part of our menu is we are giving what uh, the Filipino taste buds want. However, syempre may fusion yan, fusion yan na ginawa natin. That's why we created this one, what we call Chinatown Hot Wings. Next, please. And of course, Chili Crusted Creole Fish. One of our best seller as well. So, kung pupunta kayo sa mga stores natin or mag-visit or try nyo i-visit yung mga stores natin, yan yung mga ilan sa mga items na talagang binabalik-balikan ng mga customers natin. And we are very proud to have it said na it is a fusion of, of, of Filipino taste buds and of course, Southern American food. Next natin, please. And as of now, we do have 65,951 total followers. And of course, weekly dumadami tayo ng dumadami no, sa social media accounts natin. Uh, dumadami silang dumadami. It's because of the experience that they had in the restaurant. Meaning kapag tumataas ang ating uh, followers sa social media, they keep on posting uh, positive, uh, uh, positive comments. Meaning we are really doing well in serving kung ano ba talaga. Or namimit natin yung taste buds ng mga customers natin o ng mga Pilipi. Usually yung mga mupunta sa atin, mapa-family man yan or group. So, padagdag sila ng padagdag, which is a good numbers or figures na kaya natin sabihin na ah, talagang kinikilala na or nakikilala ng mga Pilipino na there's such food na smoke ribs. Next, please. Ayan. So, as I mentioned earlier, we started sa isang food park lang. And then eventually, uh, nagkameron pa kami na isang food park sa Cebu way back 2018. And dahil sa maganda pa rin acceptance sa mga tao sa atin, next, please. Next, we started to have the full-scale restaurant o talagang like, we created na let's do a restaurant which eventually nag-start tayo sa Kalibo Aklan and then uh, uh, Robinson's uh, Tugigaraw, Festive Walk in Uilo and of course our main branch which is, which is uh, sa, sa BGC, Tagig, ayan kung may kita nyo there's a lot of customers talaga even, especially nung wala pang pandemic talagang lagi tayong puno dito sa BGC. Next is we have also at Elsa Shangri-La, Mandaluyong City, and Phil and Best Axis Alabang. Next is, and Assembly Ground, the Rice Makati. Uh, another one in Festival Mall Alabang area as well. And uh, last uh, month, uh, October 31, we also opened our new branch in uh, SM North Edsa. And there's a lot of coming uh, stores next year. 
we are planning to open more dahil marami ang talagang very interested sa sa pag-franchise ng Southern Grain Bistro. We are very much open to collect all the interest uh, parties to join our team, our growing team. And of course, kung makikita nyo, marami tayong mga uh, nag-offer sa atin na iba't ibang location, which is, uh, we are glad na they are opening their doors to have a Southern Grain Bistro uh, restaurant on their area, which is, syempre, Mega World, we are already part partner with Mega World, SM, Robinsons, Vista Mall, and uh, good thing yan, sunod-sunod sila marami. Next, please. As mentioned, uh, magkakameron pa tayong mag-open next year, BF Homes and uh, Mamplasan Shell, that is in Laguna. And then, uh, syempre kasama sa presentation natin ang menu ng store natin. Uh, Diyan sa menu natin, may kita nyo ang different uh, uh, food na ino-offer natin. Next, please. Ayan, without Southern Sets, one of our best sellers, Southern Sets, is a complete set of meal. Next, please. Southern Fusion, ayan, meron tayong lemon, uh, shrimp and lemon, creole fish, chicken fried chicken, and southern fried chicken. Next, please. Pastas, and of course, meron tayong mga burgers. Next, please. Uh, soups and salads, and of course, vegetables and sides. So, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa mga ino-offer natin, nakumpleto tayo from, from the appetizer down to at uh, soups and uh, sides. So, kinukumpleto natin kasi gusto natin kumpleto ang experience ng uh, customers natin when they visited our branches na Southern Grind Bistro. Next, please. Ayan. So, of course, dahil we are we are very glad and happy sa result ng ating first uh, franchise which is way back 2018 na kung napansin nyo nga on our presentation, dire-diretso ang pag-open natin with the span of a year, we open at least three restaurant, full franchise restaurant. And upcoming years, again, we open. Despite of uh, of this uh, pandemic, uh, which is ito nangyayari ngayon sa atin, we still open, we still uh, manage to open a new franchise uh, store, which is the SM North nga. And we do have in Makati, Festival, and Alabang. And with that, we want to share what we are experiencing now as a franchisor. And that's why we are opening our door to have you as our franchisee. Uh, ang maganda sa pagiging franchise natin is that before, on our first year, the normal rate for, for the franchise fee is about 600 to 800,000. However, we believe na due to this pandemic, we need to help those, uh, those uh, uh, businessmen or companies na gusto mag-franchise. So with that, ang help na ginawa natin from 800,000 na franchise fee, we lowered it from 50%, which is 400,000 pesos na lang ang magiging franchise fee natin. And of course, the estimated cost for the whole package or the construction of the of the restaurant will be depending on the size of our uh, restaurant. Uh, roughly, uh, we are requiring at least a minimum of 85 uh, square meters para sa ating uh, restaurant. And with that, uh, kapag nabuo na natin, of course, we do have our monthly dues. Ang maganda sa atin, hindi tayo maraming kinukuha sa franchisee or hinihingi sa franchisee in return. What we are asking is only 3% from the gross sales. Come think of it, it's just a 3%. No other uh, fees that will be collected on the part of the franchisee. This is because we are trying to help those, those franchisee that are willing to be part of our team. Next, please. Of course, kapag nakapagbigay na tayo ng franchise fee, ang mga inclusion natin, katulad na nabanggitin kanina on the first, uh, very start of the beginning, uh, very start of the presentation, of course, yung ating trademark na Southern Grind Bistro. Ang maganda dito, complete din tayo ng procurement system, no? Hindi tayo basta manguhula, paano ba tayo magkakaprodukto, paano ba tayo magkakasupply. Sa so lahat yan, kasama dun sa franchise fee, tinuturo natin yan sa mga franchisee, not just sa franchisee, but of course, dun sa mga uh, team members natin na magiging part ng restaurant. Of course, aside from that, napaka-importante para sa amin is the training. We also give an intensive training for all the employees, not just the employee, of course, the franchisee, kasi gusto na rin natin maging aware si franchisee what should be done sa restaurant or sa ating uh, Southern Grain Bisto branch. Uh, we're always go we also uh, we will go into assist you as well in uh, hiring ng mga tao natin. Of course, napaka-importante na makapag-hire tayo ng mga tamang tao for the restaurant. Kasi those those employees are the ones who's going to help us to build or to, to improve more yung ano natin eh, yung business natin. That's why we're always on uh, here para to help you na sino ba dapat ang mga nasa restaurant or sino ba dapat yung mga mag ng restaurant natin. And of course, kapag nakapag-hire na tayo, 
kumpleto rin naman tayo, bibigyan natin ng support ang mga franchisee natin sa opening. Of course, meron tayong pre-opening and post-opening support. Nandun yung mga bannering natin, lahat ng marketing plan natin, especially ngayon, napakauso ng social media. We are very much alive and active in social media. We are always posting a lot of things regarding the franchisee, the franchise stores, or anything uh, about the franchise or the franchise store or the stores out in Grand Visto. And of course, syempre, nandyan din yung tiyatawag natin CRM. Of course, sa panahon ngayon, very, dapat, very aware tayo sa mga bagong technology. And we also put that on our list, which is we have the CRM where you're just going to place your order on the system and the system will calculate how much you're going to to, ex, uh, to spend for the certain orders. Hindi ka na magbibilang magsusulat. You're just going to input it on our CRM and then it will go and then it will be delivered on your branch. Next, please. Ayan. So, if you're interested, please uh, do email us at thechavez.southerngrandbistro at gmail.com or you can uh, directly call me at 0975-436-9174. And again, uh, we are hoping and uh, we are hoping that uh, any of you would be part will be part of our growing family of Southern Grand Vista. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lennon de Chavez, for your presentation. And uh, uh, I would like to thank everybody who was with us and uh, hope you learned something about franchising and uh, learn something about the uh, offers our clients are offering you uh, in the form of Phoenix, uh, Phoenix LB, Super LBG. And uh, Mr. Donuts, Chat to Chuck, and uh, Mr. Chef, and of course also the Southern Green Bistro. So to end the session, I'm giving you back to Mr. Sokri Malako. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. So okay, close the show. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. So thank you for the uh, for our speakers and to all our presenters today. And uh, of course, to our uh, Facebook Live viewers for giving their time to attend this franchise webinar. So I hope that you have gained a lot of insights from our wonderful speaker and uh, presenters uh, for today. So again, if you have questions for the presenters, you can ask them in the chat features in their booth area at uh, uh, www.franchise.ph or .com and presenters may answer or you can connect with the, uh, with the speaker one-on-one -on -one through a private message or a meeting. So be sure to visit the exib uh, exhibit hall to talk with our sponsors and exhibitors. So keep sa uh, safe everyone and see you on the next upcoming event. So again, this is Sokri Malako signing off as your Master of Ceremony. So uh, thank you so much at uh, Mabuan.